episode of How To. My name is Nicole, for those of you who are just joining me for the first time. I do How To videos on simple foods. So tonight on the menu is going to be filet mignon. And we're going to have uh, a maple sriracha syrup uh, shrimp. We're going to have a garlic steam shrimp, and we're going to have maybe broccoli, bok choy, risotto, rosemary garlic butter risotto. So we're going to have um, a rather large, nice, tasty meal. Stay tuned. Okay, guys. So I got uh, quite a thick, uh, quite a few things going on. We have, um, we're going to have, um, like I said, two different shrimp, the risotto that I'm making. I might make bok choy, I might make broccoli. I got a lot of things going on, but as I'm going, I'm gonna show you what it is that I have going on. I'm gonna start with the risotto and show you how I'm gonna prepare my risotto. It's a garlic rosemary butter or a buttered rosemary garlicky uh, type risotto. And um, I have bok choy here. I also have broccoli, so maybe I'll give two choices of the veggies. Stay tuned. Okay, so these are the shrimp that I purchased, well, that we got from uh, BJ's, maple sriracha shrimp. So I'm not making these from scratch. I'm not making these homemade, but they are the shrimp that we're using, one of them. And here they are on the pan. I'm gonna put these in an oven let them get a head start not that they need that much time I poured the risotto in the pan I had been letting the butter heat up I got a lot going on like I said I poured the risotto in the pan I'm gonna add more butter Ooh. I should have actually put the garlic in first to let that to let the um, essence come through. Okay, so this is the garlic rosemary buttered risotto that I'm going to get started here. So you pour this in a pan, you can cook it either by boiling the water first and then adding it if it's gonna be plain. But this takes about 20 minutes to cook. So I made it the, kind of the same style you would make rice aroni, which means, you know, you heat up your butter and your veggie, whether it's mushroom risotto or whatever kind it is. If you have some sort of veggie first, you'll put it as in garlic, onion, peppers, mushroom. You'll put it in your pan first. Let the flavors come through, add your rice, then start to stir it. But I have this on low while I get started with some of the other things. This is the water right here that's gonna go into the risotto slowly. Hey guys, I'm back, still working on a risotto. I'm gonna mix this up and then slowly start to add water and then it's a continuous mix phase. So I'm still doing a risotto, still working on that. In the meantime, I'm going to sear the filet mignon in the pan. I'm gonna finish it off under the boiler. And I'm just gonna have to decide I'm gonna steam some broccoli because I made kale earlier. So instead of doing the bok choy. And I'm gonna peel the shrimp and just steam them a little bit. The um, shrimp are a wild caught Argentine, Argentinian shrimp. These are the size of the shrimp. I have to peel them. Very good, very delicious. And this is the filet mignon. We got the risotto cooking here. Once it starts to smell the aroma and it starts to get a little golden color to it, I'm just going to add a little bit of water at a time. 
and it's a continuous mix things like I mentioned earlier. Stay tuned. Okay. On a medium, a low to medium, well, I'm gonna put it up a little more. On a medium heat or flame, I'm gonna put the filet mignon in a pan. I'm trying to scoop up the last bit of my flavors here. So I'm gonna put it in a pan to be seared. Like I said, I'm going to finish it off under the border. So guys, so these are my guests, excluding my son. He's in the living room. This is my granddaughter. This is Ilani Amua. And Ebony, my daughter, my niece, my favorite niece in the whole world. Son, would you like to come and say hello? Well, anyway, these are a few of my dinner guests. Right, Mama? Say hi to the world. Say hello, world. She'll be, she'll be eating in the form of milk. Yeah. <laughs> right? You're going to have the milk mouth. You're going to be milk drunk off a steak and Okay, so so I turned the steak. They're searing on the other side now, and I still have the risotto working. I'm going to add just a little bit of salt and white pepper to it. I'm not going to go overboard with different seasons because the season that I, the herb and garlic that I have in here is in the Okay, guys, I'm turning the filet. And I have a pan that can go right into the boiler. Okay, to this pot, my all-purpose pot, I'm going to add just a little bit of water. Let that get hot. And I'm going to make the steam broccoli, which don't take long at all. Okay, so I put a little water in my all-purpose pan that I love. And I'm going to add this bag of broccoli. And... You season it to taste. I'm going to put a little. I'm going to put a little white pepper. I'm going to put a little. A little salt. I'm going to add a little turmeric, and I'm going to put a little paprika. You season it to your own liking. I'm just gonna make it simple. And I'm gonna add a little country crock plant butter. I'm gonna add a little bit of, remember she fell? And I'm going to let that steam just for a few minutes. Okay, so here's the dish. This is the, uh, the risotto with the rosemary, garlic and butter, the steamed broccoli, the maple sriracha shrimp that I did not make from scratch, the Argentina shrimp that I just slightly uh, steamed, and the filet mignon. So this is tonight's dinner. If you like this video, remember to give me a big thumbs up, like, share, subscribe, and hit your bell so you can be notified with each how-to video. This really is a simple meal to cook, easy, and, and fun and delicious. So join me next time, guys. Take care. Assalamu alaikum. Have a nice day. Okay, guys. This is my little family who I love so much. This is Imani. Hi, guys. That's Imani, who I love more than anybody in this whole wide world. And that's Uncle Nick. No, it's Mr. Nick. Hello. <laughs> the finishing product. Okay. Well, I'm almost done. Yeah, she ate first. Thank you. How is it, Imani? It's good. You put some spice or something in here. Somewhere. Yeah, I did a little white pepper.